hey, uh, I get a lot of questions saying, hey, T, you know, who was your motivation? You know, what, where did you, you know, who was your motivation though? Uh, uh, your mentor when you were coming up in the trade and, and trying to, you know, grow and get to where you're going right now. And I would say, you know, when my, my first mentors were these motivational folks like Zig Ziglar, Tony Robbins, um, Joyce Myers, you know, I, I used to listen to these folks all the time and they were my beginning mentors uh, because I needed to be built up. You know, I need to get that mental right. And uh, and I didn't realize how much I needed that until I, uh, my boy, uh, Ross, Ross introduced me to it. And I got a video on there with Ross, right? And he introduced me to it. And that, that was my first group of mentors. And they helped me get my mental right. They helped me understand uh, how much I needed personal development. And uh, once I had that, then I started seeking others within the trade. There's even a time where I have personally asked the individual, can you be my mentor, right? Now that person, uh, I remember that was the only person I've asked to be my mentor. Others, uh, we, it just kind of uh, worked out like that, you know? Um, I took the opportunity at times to ask some questions uh, um, about challenges I had in their profession, in their line of work, in, in what they were successful with. And, um, but the first time I asked someone to be a, a mentor of mine, um, really wasn't in, in the, in the, in the trade area. It was more in the, um, in the develop, develop, development of, of, of developing businesses and relationships as a whole, you know, and, um, and, and that's what I gained from that person, but everyone else, um, kind of just is set up that way where uh, we were affiliated, we linked up, and then either we started doing business together or we, uh, or I started working for them some, some, in some form or fashion and um, whatever I had to do to get close to them so I can gain whatever knowledge they had or gain, sometimes it wasn't even them because I've known some great people that is not even aware about everything about what they're in business about. Okay, they just got people around them that knows about this trade or about this business. They just understand how to build businesses. And some of them build it on fear, some of them build it on kindness, but most are old school and they build it on fear, right? They, they, they use that fear muscle uh, to push their staff, to push their crews. Uh, crazy, but it, it happens and it works. Um, um, but that's who my mentors were. I, and, and, and I, and I, 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 I made sure I got in those questions, right. When the opportunities were right, I made sure I got in my questions, my concerns, everything, when those opportunities was, was right. And that's what you have to look for. You have to look for those individuals that can benefit you in the different areas of your life. It doesn't have to be one area. Okay. Look for the individuals to get you in different areas of your life and then pick the right time and hit them with those questions, hit them with those concerns, people, and, and then get them to talk to you. Talk about what you like about them. Talk about what you have seen that they have done, the accomplishments that have benefited you that you have seen them do. Whether it's a comment they said, whether it's a story they told, whether it's a book they wrote, right? Whether it's a, a, a someone they have helped, tell them that. Let them know that and that you were inspired by, it, you know, and that kind of opens up the door. And um, people love to hear uh, stories about themselves, okay? People love to talk about themselves. So you just get them going, and, and, uh, and a lot of people are just glad to, to help people, you know? There's some people out there that's just not, like people in our trade, right, contractors. Contractors are not so... Uh, I would say they're not so eager <laughs> to help other contractors, especially if they're in the same line of work. Like I hear so many times that contractors hold back information because it's like you're gonna you're gonna turn into my competition. And I always say this. This is what I always say anytime I run into either a contractor that 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 I know. Um, 
uh, has said that or, or still say it, or an employee of someone, of a contractor that's been told that to, right? Uh, and I always just tell them this, or a, contract, or a new coming contractor that's been told to by other contractors. I always say this, listen, man, we can live in the same neighborhood down the street from each other, okay? Have one grocery store in that neighborhood that we all go to and never run into each other. The entire life, never run into each other. And, and I relate that to the jobs out here. Like there's so many jobs out here. There's so many opportunities out here. There's a chance that we could never run into each other. Okay. But, I, but, 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 but this though, why allow that person to re, to not receive the information that they're seeking? Excuse me. Why not allow that person to achieve uh, the information that they're seeking um, to, to, to not like go out there and fail at it. Right. Cause if, if you don't give them the information that they're seeking, eventually if they got an entrepreneurial spirit, they're going to go out here and learn on it. And if they go out here and learn at it and they fail at it, it hurts us as an industry. And the hurt points are far, far more damaging than the wins. Okay. So I help everyone. It, it doesn't matter. Even if, even if you want to bid on the same projects as me, I'll just tell you, like, you're going to lose. Straight up. You, you're going to lose. Even if we're bidding in the same market, I don't care. You're still going to lose. And I'll teach you how to bid the projects. I'll teach you. Yeah, I'll teach you. No joke. I'll teach you. I'm bidding on LAUSD right now. I'll teach you how to bid LAUSD jobs. Straight up or any school job in your state. It doesn't matter. So, all right, I'm gonna let you go with that. I think I've talk, talked enough here, but uh, mentors, you, they're all around you, okay? They don't have to just fit into this perfect box that you that you, you make, you know, that you think that this mentor is gonna fit in and this mentor has all these uh, uh, services to offer, you know? It's not even about that. You look into all aspects of your life, right? But there's so many mentors out here on YouTube, uh, uh, Twitter, and all these other platforms. You can get it everywhere. I'm serious. It's, it's too many mentors, to be honest with you, okay? Uh, I think you need more training than anything, so. All right, I'll let you go with that, my construction entrepreneurs. Thanks for staying tuned. Appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.